Hi there, everyone. I just want to go over some directions on how to upload um, some of the daily activities you're doing in STEM this week. So this video is for all students, whether you're kindergarten through sixth grade, and hopefully parents can watch this with you so they can help you upload your picture. And this is for all schools, no matter what elementary school you're in. Please follow these directions, okay? This week's activities are a bit different than last week. This week, uh, well, last week they were building a tower, so most of you took photos with a phone. But this week, a lot of the logic puzzles require the students to be online playing different logic type games. Um, so the easier way to upload their work is to take a screenshot. So, and it, how you do it depends on your device. So let me show you how to do that. So this week, if um, you're an intermediate student, um, for example, back on Monday, um, you had this set game and you click this link and it takes you to this sheet. And there's a video for you to watch. And there are two links, one to setgame.com and the New York Times has a daily set puzzle that kids can keep coming back to. It's different every day. And once you click on this, it'll take you to a site that looks like this. And this is the New York Times daily set puzzle. And let's say you've tried and tried, and this is as far as you can get. From this point, you want to take a screenshot. How you take a screenshot depends upon your device. So I'm just going to go over that quickly right now. So if you or your child are using a Mac book or a Mac desktop, this is the keyboard shortcut you'll use. Command, Shift, 3 will take a screenshot, and it should save it right to your desktop so that you can upload it from there. If your child is using a Chromebook, either one supplied by the school or a personal one, they'll just hold control and hit that screen catcher button right at the top, and it'll save a screenshot right to the downloads folder. If you and your child are using a desktop PC or a PC laptop that's running Windows 10, this is how you take a screenshot. You hold the Windows key and click Print Screen. And it should save it directly to a screenshot folder unless you changed those settings. So after you take a screenshot on a Windows 10 device, this is what it would look like in your file manager. Your picture will be saved under Pictures and in the Screenshots folder. Again, unless you change those settings, um, but this is usually done by default. So this is where you'd find it to upload. If your child happens to be using an iPad for these activities, um, iPad screenshots similar to if you happen to have an iPhone. You hold the home button and the top button at the same time. It'll take a screenshot and save it into your photos. If you have an iPad Pro, um, which is the picture to the left, it's a little bit different. You have to hold the top button and the volume up button at the same time and it'll also save it to photos, and then you can upload it from there. Now that you've taken your screenshot of your work, I'm going to go over how exactly you upload it to the shared folder. And then when you come back, I'm going to come up to the top tab here. Let me zoom in so you can see. I still have this sheet open. If you closed out of it, just come back to our STEM website, and you can click here, and it'll open it up again. We have a link right here, and this is a link to a folder that all the kids have access to. They can just click on it, open it up. Now, your child on whatever device they're on will have to be logged into their Google account. If not, it might prompt them. But once you're in, you can see a lot of kids have already uploaded their work. So to upload your photo now, in the upper left-hand corner, it says new right here and this is where you can upload the file so i'm just going to click new and file upload and then from there all you have to do is find where your image is so you'll have to know where you saved it and click on it and open it up and i'll tell you right down here where it was complete and mine was, so I should be able to see it here. It is in order. I called mine set game, so I'll have to scroll down to get to it. My computer's running a little slow right now. Too many people on Wi-Fi in my house. And there it is, set game. One thing that would be helpful 
is if when you save your image, if you could put your school name first, so for example, Minnesaukee Kids will put Minnesaukee and then your name, Satoka Kids will put Satoka, then your name, um, same thing for Arrowhead Mountain, NASA Keg. That would make it easier for all the STEM teachers to see their students' work and respond to it. Um, so if you could do that, we'd appreciate it.